fresh cut? Yeah, fresh cut, fucking fat, no facial hair. What's this? It's just moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'll look like a girl? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. This eyeshadow? This is like a face for the I can't, I don't know if I can do this, Nick. I can't, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I look terrible. <laughs> how's he looking? How's our, how's our pretty lady looking? Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, I was wrong. JJ, People's Champ, got the numbers. Number one show in Advisor's history. Thank you to JJ, thank you to the viewers. Thank you to Ashley, maybe. People haven't ruled that out. Maybe it's the, the Ashley factor. But Dave is back this week. We wanted JJ in the mix, but we didn't want Dave to know. So Jerry is going to be disguised as a female crew member. He's gonna be behind one of the cameras. And then he's gonna wait to kind of reveal himself and then go at Dave maybe later in the show. Or if there's a quake, he's got the green light to just go nuts. I think he's not gonna get recognized by Dave. I think it's a good disguise. And I think the payoff will be unbelievable. If Dave's not looking for something, he's not like, he's not that attentive that he's going to, he's locked in. Like he's gonna come in, sit down. He's used to doing these shows where there's a lot of you know miscellaneous people on the set. He's not the type of person that's gonna like introduce himself to everyone. So I think he'll just be like, what's up? And I think Jerry will just be off to the side. What, what's your what do we, what's your name? What name are we going with? What's up, Dave Portnoy? Thanks for coming in. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> or like, um, what's girl's name, Rebecca? I don't know. Just be Jenny. Jamie? Gina. Gina, Gina's good. Yeah, Gina's good. Yeah, I like Gina. Dave is like the most, like he is not, he's, he's tunnel vision. He's doing a million things. He's doing pizza, he did pick them. He's got, you know, the business stuff going on. He's not like, he doesn't have his guard up. Welcome to the Barstool Sports Advisor, America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan, Big Cat Caps. And the source, Stu Finer. Like, like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back, back, yes. back, back! And guess what? We're joined, as always, by Ashley, Tommy, Stu, and then the guy! King of Media! Fuck Howard Stern! Howard Stern, you can't suck these cock! He's back! King of all Media! Thank you, Stu. The King is originator! Thank you, Stu. Boys are back in town. Boys are back in town. The boys are back in town! It's one thing when Jerry does the show, he's great. We've had other people do sit in your chair. They're great. They're not you. No one's no, you. No, they're not you. No one's you. They're not no you. No one's, I'm not you, and I think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. They're You're the only you. person in the world better than Jerry's me. Jerry's a scumbag piece of I shit. I don't even consider you better than me. I'm better than you, but he's let's, the best. Let's do the gimmick. I asked when I came in, I'm like, so what are you guys going to do with Jerry? What's the gimmick? Oh, I don't think he's here. He's not even in Chicago. Do it. Get it over with. <laughs> I mean, Come on. that is the worst. Worst disguise I've ever seen. Can I say something? Can I say something? Come on, Jerry. I would. Come on, do it. I would. I would. I'm I just saw his disguise. I just want to share the level. I, mean, I would. Come on, I, Jerry. Right now, come I on, would. Get it over with. Come do it. Not over. No, no, come do it. Come do it. Come do whatever you're gonna do. Come do it. Listen, I'm the star right, right now. Let's go. Dave saw right away. I mean, it's Jerry. Come do it. So obviously, Jerry. You Can't breathe. So you look supposed to be the camera woman? It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you look adorable. You're very sexy, and it shows that you have beautiful looks, beautiful skin collection, <laughs> beautiful <he's> lips. <laughs> I mean. I would put my penis in your mouth. I just want to tell you. Well, I, I knew it wasn't going to work. But, but honestly, in what, in what world did you think as, oh, Jerry's just not going to be here on set? Like, Well, I thought the disguise was going to be a little bit better. <laughs> your eyes are just Jerry. I know. You're Jerry. I know. I think it's a great, a great All right, put, put, you know what? 
Just pretend that we didn't realize yeah. it was so you. So what, what was the gimmick going it, to be? It was going to be, you didn't notice. And then as we you went. You thought I wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my idea. As we went through the show. I thought you'd have a better disguise. As we went through the show and you did a pick, the camera woman, like, you know, as we go longer and longer, he's like, oh, that's a dumb pick. Oh, like, you it, know. It, 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 in what world? Like, the man's on point right now. The man's back. I wouldn't notice. You can't pull a gimmick on The minute he out, I was the like, little, uh oh, the that's... fat, pudgy camera. <laughs> oh, that's a bad. Thing. You created the gimmick. <laughs> I was gonna change my voice. All right, give it. Yeah, give, put it back voice. on. Wow, put, that put, would put, work. Put the mask back on. <laughs> you didn't think I would know. That's Stupid Terry. <laughs> Wait, say, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Stupid peck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like high heels. Well, no, Jerry, you stay as a camera one. Ah, Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta stay. Do your job. Gave, I don't know if he's in Chicago. He lives an hour away. Like, like Wait, Jerry. I didn't give that speech. Who gave that speech? Oh, there was Hank. Oh, Hank. Hey. So I walked in. I go, Hank, what, what's the gimmick that we're gonna do today? No, I don't even think he's in here. Dead serious. Like, what do you think? I'm oh, stupid. Hey. Come on, hey. Hey. it's on hey. point. I just never mentioned anything. I didn't mention anything. I, I know. Like, like you're gonna trick. Come on. Hey, can like, I say? What am I? Can I say what? I thought that's believable. I thought that's believable. <laughs> Can I say what would have worked if Jerry dressed up like this and said he's transitioning? Yeah. Let's say Jerry's transitioning. Yeah, he is. Oh, I heard that. Oh, what does that do? What, that's the gimmick? Yeah. That's the gimmick. Yeah. Jerry's here. He's transitioning. Got I don't it. know about All right. that. All right, so here's the beautiful wow, thing, though. Bomb. That was I normally bomb. don't bomb no, on that show. Bomb. That was a, bomb. I'll take You're the bomb. L. You're bomb. I, t uh, I looked in your eyes, I saw like fish. I'm sorry. Here's the beauty. I take the L. Here's the beauty of this, because there is a ratings war between Dave and Jerry. If Again, I said off camera, who titles the captions? Because the caption might the, have been the, the, the caption was <laughs> Ashley, you couldn't see her. It, it was a silhouette, and it's like, check out the new naked weather girl click. <laughs> yeah, you got a bunch of clicks. Big, big whoop. But here's the New beauty of it. Girl. New weather no. girl. Fabulous. Yes. Oh, Our crowd, Fabulous. as she mentioned, her DMs infiltrated. Yes, people are going to click to see the new weather girl. Here's the beauty, well, though. How, here's how the beauty. Oh, well, the new because, camera girl. Well, here's no. what I'm going to say is no. that if this episode does monster views, I know that woman right there is going to try to take credit for it. Because technically, 100%. she was on this show. 100%. No. Do the You're voice. Sure. You got to do the voice. No, no, and I don't I'm even know. I saw you smash my picture. I don't even know where this rival. Like, I do want Jerry to be successful. I don't know why he wants me not to be successful. I don't think. I think. Uh, Jerry is rooting for this show to tank. There is Gina. not Gina. a. Gina. Not whatever. There, the, the fat little woman over there <laughs> wants the show to fail. I guarantee Who said you. That? Oh, Mike Leach. Fat little girlfriends. Yeah, that's what he wants. <laughs> no. Yes, you do. You're rooting against me. No. No, do the voice. Not at all. Part of you. <laughs> is part of you rooting A hundred percent. No. Okay. Really? No. All right, well, let, let's go on with the show. Gina will be the camera woman today. Is that today. why you outsourced like 100,000 views to India that came last no. week? Is that why? No, no, no okay. he didn't have to. <laughs> it, 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 How, that, listen. He does it, look kind of cute. Try he is cute. cute. New, weather, I would do new it. weather girl is clicks. That is go. That is till the end of time. And whoever did that knew that. I'd do the same thing. But for Jerry to step in and bully ball and army and this, shut <laughs> up. Yeah. All right, let's pull do, it down, Jersey. Let's, let's do some picks. Let's do before we start with the picks, Dave. I want. And by the this way, is this is a show. pick show for me. Yeah, I know it's this a, is a pick show. When other no, people are on, no, no this is a pick show. show. Pick, pick show. show for me. So it's, I wanted. We judge the winners. Quick, quick week one. I'll do both for both of you, Dave. We'll start with you. Give us a, a power ranking top five. NFL. Yes. I have won the 49ers, two Cowboys, three Patriots, four Dolphins, five Eagles. Okay, now Stu. Knowing what we know now, Mean Girls out of Barstool, what is your top five list? Don't rank, don't rank women. Oh, by the way, I, I didn't do it because I knew you wouldn't like it. I was going to text you because obviously there's a slot open right now. Number four doesn't exist no more. That, so that, I was, was either, was was either going to create <laughs> another person for the slot or I was going to move everyone down and create a new Still one. Still one of the all-time conversations <laughs> when Stu ranks all the women in on our, my anniversary in our Missed company that part. on my and I anniversary said, Stu, you can't do that and then he tried to be like comrades like man comedy has changed huh it's like no you could never rank all the women in the office by looks how quick did i take it down 
Well, the one I told you. Yes, absolutely. All right, so when so you said Stu, you're not going to work here anymore. I said I'm taking it down. And he, I said everything's good. I he, was happy. He apologized for that. Now, with, yes, with four being no longer at Barcelona, Correct. are you moving five up? Am I allowed to do this? <laughs> Just tell me where to go. No. Done. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Don't get me fucking fired because you got 20 million. I don't. I still don't have to own strip malls and break my dick for another 10 years. You can't rank women in Stop, the Stop, Dan. Okay, what is your ranking, Sue? Here's what I would, can I say something? No. No, not that. Well, about, about what? Nothing to do with that. No, no, no totally nothing to do with right, it. Go, go. Because I, obviously okay. I want to do a half a million views on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. How about, how about if me and Ashley Tunk is? Is that allowed? <laughs> because if you put <laughs> Stu no. attacks Weather Girl and tongue kiss her, I guarantee you do a half a million views. No. How, no? Well, how well do we know Ashley? Uh -huh. No, yeah. Ashley's in bed. Yeah, Ashley's sure, great. She, she, Ashley's, Ashley's you can trust her with your life. Great. There's Ashley's no bullshit great. with her. She would, she, because she's but another thing I asked yes. off camera. Yes. Hank, whether you had tried to hug her yet, which I... I, I did. The minute I saw her, I did. We He's embraced. already got a nickname Absolutely. for her. He's the already minute, like, hey, the minute up, I saw her, I did. Listen. I was told that you were... Told to relax. I was. Yeah. I hugged oh, you. Yeah. No, I don't hug you because you literally told me you're not a hugger. Huggle. I saw how you met Matthew Stu, and, Eli and Eli Manning. You don't hug. Stu. You don't get close well, to men. Yeah, because you generally Stu, don't hug. I hug every fucking person. When I hug see him. Listen, I swear to the top of God, I hope my kids die. If Donald Trump saw me today, he has not seen me in 1993, so that's 30 years, I would walk right the fuck up to him and hug him like I did when he was banging Marla Maples before he dumped his wife. I hug people. That's how I express myself. Yeah, but myself. you also say wily, inappropriate sexual things to people. Always. So when you combine Always. that with the hugging, oh, okay, you fair enough. But that's person. performative. Always. That's performative. That's performative. Listen, that's I, I created the perfect hour of sex. I walk around like I fuck everything that walks. I walk. I fuck one girl, 45 years. It's my fucking wife. So that's the fucking curtain. So because of that, I think I can get away with murder because it's always performative. It's always Stu, Stu's over the top. He's 62, still living in that Don Rickles. Um, Era that you could say anything and it's funny. Right, but, but the it's point. Not, right, the what's Don the point? Rick, Don Rickles what is era, the point? Don Rickles era, you couldn't rank the women in the office. That that era, you could never do that. Well, can I explain what I used to do? <laughs> no. Let's move on. Let's <laughs> right. move on. Here we go. Let's no, get it's into not the bad. Yeah, but no, we no. Got it's, okay, it's, it's, it's a good. Pick show. I heard, I heard pick boss, show. I heard it's a pick show. It's boss, a pick show. All right, we got five games. We're gonna get to all five games. Stu, you did well last week. I think you were four and two. Uh, three and two. I was three and three. Gina was four and five. Tough week for Gina. But can and we can we say the game that only matters is, is the, the mortal, mortal lock, lock, which we'll get to later. Okay, thank we'll you. do our thank mortal you. lock. They, they, all they all matter. They all matter. Well, they all matter. But the they mortal lock is sixteen four and two. It's eighty percent, and it represents your company. What it is? Last sixteen year, four. And he's two. counting last, last year. year as was well. fifteen wins, four losses, two ties on the mortal lock. Yeah. And I went one and zero this week. Very impressive. Tampa Bay winning outright over Minnesota. Very impressive. Hundreds and hundreds of people Very blow up impressive. my phone. Watch your mortal lock. Watch your mortal so lock. So why don't you do the lock. whole? We've been doing this show for how long? Six years. Why don't you do your mortal lock record for six years? Why did you start last year? Ooh, because good it question. went. It went epically, super duper hot unproportionally hot, never going to do it again right. hot. So, so you got to hold on to it. you got to hold on to cherry it. I'm the king of cherry picking. Yeah. What are okay. you talking about? Okay. I'm 1-0 my last one. I win one, one game, yeah. and I'm yelling about the 1-0. Oh. Yeah. I okay. created that. All right, here we go. Let's get into the games. Well, Let's, get into the game. Let's get into the games. Let's get into the games. Ravens at Bengals, first game What's of the on? week. Oh, NFC North. He's got to be the camera one. Both Hank and... Yeah, Gina had a little shit-eating grin on their face. <laughs> I've got nothing on me. All right. Do the voice. Stop doing your regular okay, voice. All right. I got nothing on me. <laughs> all right. Ravens and Bengals. Ravens plus three and a half. Over-under is 46 and a half. Let's start with the weather for this AFC North battle. It's brought to you by Muck Boots. Muck Boots, they're the best boots in the world. Muck Boots are engineered to handle the toughest conditions from muddy tailgate parties to wet and cold outdoor adventures. Their rugged and construction ensures that you can enjoy your life outdoors without worrying about your uh, feet getting soaked or uncomfortable. Muck boots, they support us, we support them. Stay dry, stay in the game. Right now, get 20% off with the code MUCKUBARSTOOL. That's code MUCKUBARSTOOL. Look at these boots. These are beautiful Fabulous. boots. Fabulous. Beautiful, the best boots I've ever seen in my life. Ashley's wearing some, uh, some of the muck boot Crocs. They have everything for outdoor wear. Muck you, Barstool. Go right now, get 20% off. Thank you to Muck Boots. Ashley, what's the weather going to be like in Cincinnati 
on Sunday. I'll tell you all about it. It is going to be 75 degrees and partly rainy. Uh-oh, a little oh, wet, a little wet, a little wet, a mm. little wet. Tommy, you got a stat for us? I do. Since 2014, teams that lose in week one by double digits, like the Bengals, cover 62% of the time in week two. Burrow also 12 and four against the spread off a loss. In Are his you awake, career. Tommy? Am I awake? I was lackluster. Sorry. And can I say something I, about you? Because yeah. you never do this, Thomas. That was lackluster. Well, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. First of all, shout out, Roseanne. I love you. That's Thomas's mother. Yep. We're, we're you guys are Facebook but, friends. But I, you deceived the Barstool Sports Advisors public last week. Yeah, you saw. With your horseshit stats. Yeah, you saw. I mean, I oh, give no, stats no, 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 no. whether they. Shh, shh. I, can I talk first? Yep. You Dude. knew the Giants lost 11 of 12 to the Cowboys. You did. And you just, like, Swept that under the rug. You didn't say it because you're a Cowboy fan. No, I had, to, no, 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 I had pro no, giant it's stats. I had pro giant stats. what you did. It's what you did. So independently, objectively, give the stats. That should have been your biggest stat. I had pro that giant stats about how much they stats. cover as an underdog. Points to Dave. It was cherry picked. Right. Bengals, Ravens. Bengals bounce back? Yeah, so, so what Tommy just gave was the hungry dog runs faster which is always happens in the NFL. And I'm hearing everybody Bengals, Bengals, Bengals. Uh, Nikki Smokes, who I met for the first time in the office, said the Bengals, I think, with the play of his century. And he also got it at two and a half or something. I'm not convinced. The Be- I-, I think the Bengals will be heard from by the end of the season. I bet against them last week, winner. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they're just going to turn on the faucet. I don't like the Ravens. But I think this game's very close. I'll take the field goal. I'm going against the hungry dog. I'm taking the Ravens here. Stu. I concur. For a lot of reasons. And the main reason is when you watch Joe Burrow after he got his ass kicked in the game and performed lackluster and pretty much pathetic, he said, that's what happens when your quarterback does not play and was hurt the entire preseason. Who said that on Sunday? Joe Burrow. No, I said that. Oh, and you were I right. I nailed that pick last week. You said Joe Burrow was going to piss all over the Browns, and I said the Browns were going to I was dead wrong game. on that game. I, that was the only game I was dead wrong on the whole weekend because the Colts were just lost by a little bit. No, no, and when you Chargers lose, you're wrong. I had the Colts And too. the Chargers lost by a little bit. And uh, no, Monday night. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. No, that no, doesn't no, count. Well, 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 no, 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 no. You were wrong about the Chargers. No, no, no. Uh, absolutely. But that, but that if was you the lose, last possession if you of the right, game. But that game was back and forth. Yeah, if you lose, you can't be like, ah, just a little bit. That wasn't like the Bengals who got humiliated. No, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, in retrospect, I think Joe Burrow is going to take a month to get rolling. Now, you weren't here last week. I'm sure you watched the show. I said the Bengals are going to beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl. That was my, you know, objective, real pick. I said my heart pick was Jets-Giants in the Super Bowl. Well, forget that. And then I also said my, um, my uh, long shots were the Ravens playing the Detroit Lions. Mm. Okay. Um, be that as it may, I think the Baltimore Ravens are a very, very, very good bet this week. I don't think the Bengals are going to get it together. Joe Burrow is going to play lackluster. He has to get his sea legs under himself. He always starts slow. I think it's a very sharp pick here. I like the Ravens plus the points. Mm, this is tough because I kind of like the Ravens as well. It's an earthquake. Oh! 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 When, uh, when Gina's here, you guys still do earthquakes? Ah! Throw shit? Yeah, we do. Do you want to throw something? No, no. I'm, no. Not, I'm not into the breaking. You never liked it. You no, like well, we've, we've skirted, like, major injuries. No, no, you're, I mean, you're right. How many, it's like, how many, oh, my God. Oh, that was funny. But that's what I mean. That's, that's in glass, break. and Gina's that's sitting there. Break. And it shatters that's in face. break. That that's in break. break. But it doesn't break. What happens if it shatters? It's just, you're just there. You just get cut. Well, yeah. I mean, there's, a, there's, a, little, there's yeah. a little backstory to what just happened. Big Cat is extremely mad at Jersey Jerry, Gina, because he went to his house and he tried to get a fraud ghost out of the house, and the fraud ghost gave him the Jets to yeah, the yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm aware of that. So, yeah. what, you bet 10,000, 18 10, to 1? Yeah, yeah, so you lost 10,000. I cashed. So I would have hit him straight in the fucking face. I cashed out for three. No, I would have knocked him the fuck out. Shout out, Gina. Shout out, Jersey I, Jerry. I just don't and understand the logic. This is like launch. glass. At least Hank, if that breaks. Just throw it. Just throw it. No, I'm not throwing it. Like, what? What's the point? I'm upset that that didn't When someone happen. gets cut, I don't want to hear about I'm it. Just from no, your pocket. no, literally. That can happen. Uh, I'm also I taking the over in this I'm game. Aware. Quite literally. You're, you're I'm aware. also and taking the gonna... over in this game. Let's do the next game, boys. Seahawks, Lions. And then I get portrayed as like, you know, 
the curmudgeon. A Debbie, a Debbie like, oh, Downer. Like the, he, he tries to reign in the chaos. No, I don't want people to die. No, you're the one that's going to foot the bill. They're, they're going to sue you. They ain't suing me. They ain't suing Big Cat. They're suing you. I agree. That's a fact. That's a fact. I, that's a Basic fact. fact. Like, and, how many and, times I was, I was hoping the piece of glass went by him, eye? I'd own the company before I'd have to fucking sell it. Dealing with oh, him? Oh, he would have been a diva about it. Oh, my God. It. Oh, he would have been a diva about it. What, he he would have had, cut? he would have, if oh, Jerry had gotten Jesus. cut right there, he would have had Business Insider on the phone. Oh, he'd, have seven he'd have seven Ten lawyers calls. from well, Jersey. Dave, what about him? this? My leg hurts now. It's like, what are you, seriously? All right, Seahawks Lions. Seahawks, Lions, Lions, 1 0. Seahawks, maybe the worst game, second half I've ever watched in my entire life. Last week, they had 13 total plays in the second half. They ran 13 total plays for about four and a half minutes. Where did the Rams go? 27 on answer? They, it was insane. They went uh, three and out, three and out, three and out, four and out. I had to watch that clip of the oh my God, like when um, yeah. Donald to like 30 Gino times to see if that was a real clip. It was real. Who screams oh my God in an Gino NFL Smith. game? Pressure up the middle. Not good. Uh, the Lions are now five and a half point favorites. Probably the most hype around a Lions team in a very, very long That's time. For sure. First home game, over under is 47. Let's go with Tommy, the Wood stat. Chances are you probably stink. We have a solution. Meet Wood, the lineup of men's personal grooming products made of all natural ingredients and specifically formulated to make you smell like a better man. The world's best smelling body, hair, face, and beard products that make you smell like you give a damn. Head to your local Walmart today and shop Woods Hair and Body Assortment in the natural products aisle. Also available online at getwood.com. That's G-E-T-W-O-U-L-D.com. Wood Grooming. It's time to smell like a better man. Tommy stinks. It smells great. I feel more alive now. I feel more energy after having this aroma in my nostrils. Mm -hmm. uh, my stat. Uh, eight of the nine Lions home games last season went over this total of 47 points, an average of 58 points per game. And the last two teams, the last two times these two teams played, absolute shootouts. 93 points last year, 80 points the year oh, before. Oh man, I'm gonna take the over in this. What's the weather in Detroit? For sure, all up in Detroit, it's gonna be 65 and thunderstorming. Mm. But it's a dome. But it's a what? Dome. Oh, okay, perfect. So we don't even have to worry about it. Correct. There is. Nice. Dave, talk to me. Lions, Seahawks. Shout out doing your job. First game, I ignored the hungry dog runs faster. Listen, I, I like the Lions, the poor people of Detroit suffering, a lot of crossover with Michigan. I am not totally in on all the hype. I definitely am not in on them as a five-and-a-half-point favorite. One team coming off the loss, one coming off the win, reading the press clippings, beating yeah, KC. I'm going to take the points. I think Seattle probably wins this game. Ooh. Hungry dog runs faster. Stewart, so opposite though on you in this game. Good. I think, I think you're so so wrong. Good. For a, a, a litany of reasons. First of all, who did your makeup? Mint mine. I didn't do any makeup. Oh, you're talking about so? Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Go ahead. My bad. Sorry. I, sorry, Stuart. No, no problem at all. Yeah, Can I just say? It's like every time I look, I look you, it's the like the uglier you, you look. You look like a mutant, <laughs> Jersey Jerry. By the way. You look like uh, someone who would look exactly like that walking down the Jersey Shore, like with some sort of limp, mm -hmm. like in, I, in a shopping bag of like food. A no. TikTok, yeah, you look like a TikTok no. like face. Like, no, what his, do I look like? What are you? What are you wiping your nose? I, his face is so bothered. fat. Where normally with your beard, you're very sharp and yeah. sexy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You have that Possibly. rugged look of a Jersey Jerry. Now the you most look like something uh, thing that's ever happened at this company is you guys thinking I wouldn't notice that. I thought it was pathetic. Disguise. That no, is it's pathetic. I wish they let me in. Unbelievable. I thought it would be better. I really I did think fucking it was, it was No, that was sad. <laughs> that was an epic fail. I thought it would be better. Be honest, it's a joke. I just think I'm Come not going to know. <laughs> just looks like, looks like, we, found, looks like we found the woman on the street with a crack pipe in their mouth. Come on, seriously. Unbelievable. Shout out crack pipe. All right, Lions. Didn't they have done that? Not fun. Um, I don't know why everyone says that the Lions get all the hype and the Lions are undervalued. The fucking Lions won 8 of 10 to close out the season last year. The Lions, for all intents and purposes, played a playoff game in Green Bay where if Green Bay won the game, they go to the playoffs and beat them and beat Aaron Rodgers. 
So the Lions are loaded. They are ready to make noise. They were great against the spread last year. I think the second best team against the spread, I think, was Giants and the Lions. And the Lions are going to blow out the Seahawks here. Now, let me tell you what. The Seahawks last year were overvalued, were were played well above their head. Geno Smith's their quarterback. Do we remember that? He got the bag. He got money. Are you serious? They're garbage. Seattle's going to be like, Seattle's gonna be like <laughs> five. <laughs> what? Did you just Dickie V us? I think you did. What does that mean? Are you serious? Are, Are you serious? serious? <laughs> Shout out Dickie V. I hate you. Um, I don't like him. I never liked him. I yeah, Mr. Portnoy doesn't top. like him either. I, you know, I haven't liked him for 15 years. Yeah, I think he's so. been a has-been hanging on for 15 years. I disagree. I like Dickie V. Okay. I do too. I, I didn't ask what you liked it. I, I, mean, well, I don't, well, well, don't care it's, it's my segment. You know what I'm saying, long, boss? Long. You, you stepped on me twice now. I'm just counting. Twice he stepped was, on me. So <laughs> I'd lay the number with the Lions. Feel very confident laying the number. It's an easy win. Easy win. Easy. Okay, I'm going Shout to out easy. This game. I'm easy. It makes no sense to me because I have to separate the fact that I watched that entire Rams Seahawks second half, and I, I, I honestly can say that I've never seen a team play worse than the Seahawks played in the second half. So I'm staying away from the spread. I'm going to take the over. I do think this has shootout potential. A lot of very good offensive players on the field. And I think the Seahawks defense sucks. I'm taking the over 47. Let's go to our last early game. Big one, mm. Chiefs at Jaguars. What a game. Jaguars plus three, over under is 51 and a half. Mm. I'll start on this one. Yes, sir. Patrick Mahomes is an underdog or favorite of three or less is 19, six and one against the spread. Is that true? That is true, but I have, do you want me to counter? No, no, I, I just say it's one. Stat for stat, stat for Go. stat. Doug Peterson. Wood ten, stat for stat. Wood stat for stat. Doug Peterson, 10 and 0, covered 10 straight as a home dog. Perfect last season. They won, they won five games straight up last season as a home dog. Fuck. That's 100%. Dilemma. Wow. Do, do we know? That uh, rocked you, big cat. I can, you, that rocked you. You have know, not said a word yet. Do you know if uh, Travis Kelsey is playing? He's too busy banging. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I've been digging into the research on yeah. whether they're dating Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Originally, it was reported. Uh, he tried to give her the friendship bracelet with the number. She said no. Uh, he was wearing a John Mayer T-shirt last time on his ooh, podcast. Ooh. That's an arch enemy of mine in the Swifties. It's hard I love to John tell. Mayer. It's hard to tell what's going on there. I don't know. I, I don't know if they're fucking. Hmm. But if she, if, if she is good for mother, enjoy. What? He's expected to play Chris Jones also back. Yes. He's my next door neighbor. Chris Jones? Literally one door down. What? Like when I say one door down, my house, he's Where, the next Where, in Miami? Door. Yeah. Nice. At least that's what I've been told. He hasn't been in the house yet, but I've been told pretty confidently, yeah, he's my neighbor. Wow. When you see him, be like, hey, remember that time your balls popped out at the combine? <laughs> that's small talk. But that, <laughs> well, no. They were big. It wasn't yeah. small about so he's got big balls. Yeah, he's got big, he's big balls. He's a big fucking guy. He's he a monster. broke through his underwear. He's a monster. It bo- popped out everywhere. I'll, I'll bring it up. Okay. Uh, let me know how that goes. I will. Uh, I'm taking the Chiefs in this game. I'm taking the Chiefs minus three, and I feel pretty confident about it because I just don't think the Chiefs are one of those teams. They lost, obviously, to the Lions. They have extended little extra rest for Andy Reid, who always is good off the bye. I know it's not a full bye, but it's a mini bye. Jaguars feeling themselves. I also watched that entire Jaguars-Colts game. That game, the Colts were in that game. And the, Chiefs, and the Jaguars have some big-time offensive line issues without Cam Robinson. I'm taking the Chiefs in this game to right the ship. Mm. David. I have the Jags. Uh, you're kind of convincing me a little bit. But I, I think Kansas City is going to get off slow. I feel like, and this is memory, when they've won the Super Bowl, they've gotten off very slow the prior year, and somebody who's won six Super Bowls, that can happen. Mm -hmm. When you come off, you're doing the parades, you're doing the talk shows, you're doing all the stuff, you're not ready, and you round into shape, you know, when the weather gets colder. So I think the Jags, this is like a Super Bowl for them. I think they'll be ready for the game. I'm taking the Jags. It's like the Jags when they beat the Patriots that year, the year after you guys played in the AFC Championship game. There's a lot of early. The the Bills have won a couple Super Bowls worth uh, against us in the early weeks, so that happens. Okay. Back on camera. Shout out, boy. Shout out. Uh, we'll go weather yeah. while Stu gets a drink of water. Shout out. Yes. It is expected to be a steamy, humid 85 and rainy. Oh, okay. Stuart. I also kind of like the under in this game. Give me the under. <coughs> Throw in an under. Throw, Throw in an under. under. 51 and a half. Yeah. That's a, 
That's a sharp play. Thank you. You're a sharp guy. Thank you. Tell me when you guys are done. Thank you. Um, love the Jaguars in this spot. It's his show, people. No, it's not my show. No, but, it you is. Know, it's your it's show. the it's third your time show. Dave it's stepped on me. Third. You can step on me all day. It's your show. I said I work for you. Under. No, no, no. I work for you. You can whip out your dick and you piss know, on me. You know, Shout I, out I Dave's start. cock pissing on me. Um, love the Jaguars <laughs> in the spot. After the Jaguars came down back last year uh, in the playoffs against the Chargers, was it? Yeah. Um, they were down 27 nothing. Sure. And then the Jaguars rolled them? Sure. Okay, and then lost to who? The Chiefs? Who'd they, who'd they get knocked yes. out by? Chiefs, right. Yeah. Um, the Jaguars are an amazing team. Make no mistake about it. The Jaguars can win the Super Bowl. They have so many wet wins. Uh, shout out Ridley. He's one of our guys. Gambler. Got, mm -hmm. got suspended. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how you stop that team. I don't know how you stop that team. Now, you said their uh, offensive line is a little porous, but quarterback's so good. He can maneuver. He can run. He can do whatever he wants. Um, I love Jacksonville in this spot. Definitely bet them as a home underdog. Like Tommy said, they're 10 and 0. But a lot of people I'm hearing early, Stu, Kansas City's never going to go 0-2. Stu, Kansas City's never going to go 0-2. If Kansas City goes 0-2, they're never going to make the playoffs or win the Super Bowl. Let me explain something to you. The Kansas City Chiefs have zero shot of winning the Super Bowl. The last time a team repeated was two decades ago, 20 fucking years ago. Never happening. Never. I would not be surprised if they do not even make the playoffs. Now, how do you beat Kansas City in reality? Mm -hmm. How do you beat them? You knock out Mahomes. Mm -hmm. So I would not be surprised if he's on his back, carried off in a stretcher, in a body bag. I'm going to use the Jaguars body bag game. One minute, ten, and I didn't start it for the first 20. So you get, you get plenty of segments, oh, plenty no, of no. time. Can plenty I of time. If I get, if I'm just here and I say, hello, Dave, I'm happy. So I'm not bitching. You get the most airtime on the show, though, traditionally. 100%. And I, th well, again, it's the only thing that I do at Barstool Sports. I'm not on 10 other shows. You cannot see me on anything else. You got our, Big you Cat take is part of my take in the yak. Okay. You have Dave Portnoy on show. You have, no, you have the pizza nope. review. Oh, well, you have a lot of stuff. No, you know, that's fair. You're on the rundown. They, so they, you got to give the people their that's fill. That's what I don't ever want to step in. You your know what? What, what about Hank? What if you but just did, like, an uh, extended cut of just stew? They've like, been, that's like they've been begging for yeah, that. Right. They've been begging for the Dangerous uncut the stew. Yeah. They love when either Big Cat or Hank or you yell at me. A lot of times you go, do you realize, Stu, oh, that's never going to make it on, on camera? They, they, they're begging for that. We can make a paywall. Can I segue into what I wanted to talk to you about, too, right now? <laughs> because I think paywall stew will make you money. I don't even want any money. Paywall I got plenty stew. of money. Paywall like that stew. Paywall that will stew. make you money. Stu but, claimed but what I, what I Can you <laughs> just give me a stew. reason when, you know, listen, not that you're in trouble. You're never in trouble. You're battling a company to make it solvent. 1997, I wrote $16 million. Eight million live with 220 full and part-time people. Eight million are 900 numbers. Then all of a sudden, 1998, I get a bill in the mail for 3.4 million that I owe AT&T because AT&T did not have the ability to block payphones. So everybody's calling my 900 numbers at 25 and 50 dollars on a payphone. Couldn't collect the money. So I literally went out of business because of that. So the eight million I wrote that I thought was real, two million was real. Six million was not real. I had to go from 300 employees to 70 employees in one day. So I know the feeling. So when I give you these ideas, we need to make money very quickly with no overhead. Why don't we do barstool cameos, barstool shout outs? Why are we giving fucking money to anybody that you can make very easily? You have Frank making 10,000, 15, 20,000 a week. Why can't we give our employees a piece of the action their cameos, uh, cameo gives makes 25 down, cents on the down. dollar. I, listen, so give them 10 I, I, cents, but, I, 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 but I've texted it to you, you haven't responded. That's number one. That's number one. Number two. Number oh, wait, two. two. You have employees right now, and I, I know you don't want to hear these numbers, making between 100 to 200,000 a month on OnlyFans. I think. Again. How would you know, Stu? Uh, uh, well, sh shout out, I know everything. Okay. So again, who the fuck's I, making 100 to 200,000 no dollars a month no, on listen, OnlyFans? Listen. I, I don't want to say because I, I because I was I was told secrecy, at least five people, at least five people are making a hundred a month. Give me two people. I can't. I'm not saying anything because I'm not a rat. I'm not a rat. But I'm trying to help the company. So be that as it may, barstool should have only barstool where you take a little piece of the action. Of but we're making fans? money. 
Yes. Are you trying to make him a pimp? No, it's not a pimp. It's, 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 listen, it's show business. That's part of show business in this day and age of 2023. So I'm saying anybody that works for you, we take an end. We take a piece. So that would be my idea to immediately generate revenue. And for nothing, it will cost us nothing. We'll get someone to do it. I'll call India. I'll have someone. Yeah, I'll get it done. Yeah. And a paywall stew. Paywall stew. Three. Three. Paywall stew. Paywall stew. Can Three. Cameo I've thought of. Trust me, I've thought of the cameo. Well, I, I thought Three. that he thought he shit in his pants. Time, buddy. You well, need someone's going to build it. We can make 100 grand a month extra. 200,000 a month. That's 2.4 million. Five people making 100, 200 a month on only No, fans. cameo. Stu, three? Cameo. No. What? You, you only have two ideas? No. Third idea was you and me, we do Dave and Stu. We go back to the very beginning, 1980 inception. Pick show, Hank. And we get, and we get somebody to rap. I'll go to the street and I'll get us an advertiser. And it's you and I me. I don't want to do that. Every, I know you don't. But it's you and me every day. I want. See, I, I want. I, I'll I, give you the money. I, I have, Let's say I land an advertiser have, for a milli. I I'll have, give you the whole milli. I have one question. I just want to talk to you I for a fucking hour. I have one question that, what? That, 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 that what? hopefully doesn't go on forever. But... Paywall Stu's a great I'm idea. Sure what happens yes. if you get an ear infection again? Stu claimed today that his ear infection I would have drove here. $40,000. I would have drove here. Nada. Da, da, de, 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 de. I would have drove. Next or, question. No, no. 40, I would have drove. He couldn't do his diving cameos, so oh. it cost him $40,000 40, to get an ear I had infection. I had to cancel like almost 3,000, uh, <laughs> 300 fucking cameos. Because he couldn't, a day. couldn't, couldn't swim. Because I couldn't dive in the fucking pool. <laughs> Shout out ear infection. That's... Just saying, these are the things we got to think about. Well, instead of doing the instead of doing the hundred and seventy-five dollar shout out, <laughs> I did the hundred dollar shout out. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go to our uh, late say. We're gonna take a break first. When we come back more picks. It's a pick show, people. Back right after this. It is a pick show. It is a pick show. You're getting my mortal lock, sixty-four and two, eighty percent. Here we what go. You got? Ready to roll! Ready to roll! Ready to roll! I love you! I love winning! I love working for you! Here we go! It's the Barstool Special! Only $69! Favorite number! Favorite position! Three best bets! Not mediums, not lights! Three best bets! I'm going 3-0! 3-0! 3-0! And again, extremely affordable! Not thousands, not hundreds! $69! Favorite number! Favorite position! Three NFL best bets! Right now! Right now! Right now! Get over to StuFinder.com! StuFinder.com! S-T-U-F-E-I-N-E-R.com! Oh, boys. Did I interrupt? Mom, you stupid bitch, get out of here. <laughs> well, pardon me. And pardon my chicken tenders. Touchdown! Pardon my cheesesteaks, new menu is here. Okay, Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back and we are brought to you by Stacker 2. Stacker 2 is an OG in the energy and supplement space. Stacker 2, chew gummies, have more caffeine than other energy gummies. While being small in size and price, Stacker 2 gummies and energy shots Ooh. are designed to give you maximum energy while still tasting amazing. What do you got? What's I'll take the, these. I'm going to take these home with me. They yes. got a sleep version. Yeah. Oh, love that. Melatonin. Wow. Put you out. Let's you go. Wow. Has anybody done these yet? No, I'm, I'm going to do it tonight. Right Let's go. You do you do the, the energy or the sleep? Oh, the energy. Energy. Yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah. Stacker 2 B12. $10,000. Phenomenal. 10,000% energy shots provide 10,000% of the recommended da daily value of vitamin B12. Stacker Chew energy gummies are bite-sized bursts. Fabulous product. Of delicious energy to help love you it. take on Whatever comes your way, and you want to know why, because this shit hits by Stacker 2 Chew Energy Gummies and B12 Energy Shots at Dollar General, where you can find all your favorite Stacker 2 products, or go to Stacker2.com. I had one last week. I felt great. felt phenomenal. Stacker 2. Shout out Stacker 2. Shout Stacker out Stacker 2.com. Stacker okay. I live with this. I love it. That's why let's, I look always wired. Let's go to the afternoon slate. Jets Ooh, at Cowboys. Diet and Energy. Yeah. So you don't eat? You yeah. Eat. Love it. Stacker too. How much weight have you gained? Quite a bit, I think. Like what does quite a bit mean? 
Uh, I actually don't know if Gain of I've just turned it to Flab. Flab. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Flab, not good. Jets at has Cowboys. It, has it affected the sex game at all? Okay. Jets at Cowboys. No. Okay. Fair enough. Cowboys minus nine and a half. Shout out. Fair enough. Over under is 39 and a half. Aaron Rodgers season over. Mm. I actually legitimately feel bad for Jets fans. I can't believe that it happened. I mean, so. fourth play of the game. How you can't make that up. No. Did you wait? Did you hear? It was the number one rated Monday Night Football game in the history of Monday Night Football. Wow. Right. That's amazing. I believe it. Doesn't surprise me. The thing with ratings is each year they go up and up and up. So it's not really fair to compare like this season's Monday night game with past because more sets, everything like that. Okay, but I would have never guessed that would have been the number one Monday night game ever. ever. I'd, I'd be curious to see how like prior Monday nights and opening day, they're probably all big. Dave, thoughts on the Jets now that Aaron Rodgers is out. Aaron Rodgers' last completed pass in the NFL was to a Detroit Lion. That's a fun fact I wanted to throw out there. I did not... I wasn't sold on the Jets with Aaron Rodgers. I wanted to see it play out, um, but they're dead without him. They're dead. They don't have the quarterback. Everyone's their defense. This, yeah, they may have a good defense. You can't win this league with a terrible quarterback. And I, by the way, I thought Zach Wilson was going to be good, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take the Cowboys. Cowboys looked awesome. phenomenal. Awesome. Um, it's a huge spread here, but I'm going to take the Cowboys because I just, they're going to wear that team out. I'm taking the Cowboys. I'm going to lay, lay the points. I don't love it. Nine and a half points in the NFL, that's a ton. You're going to have a little bit of the let's rally around vibe for the Jets, but I just can't take them. I'm taking the Cowboys. Okay, Stu? I love the Jets in this spot. I mean, yep. listen, they're going to turn over Dak Prescott three times. I mean, he's throwing three picks. He's not a good quarterback. They're going to stop their running game. How do you do anything against this Jet squad? And now you have a week under their belt where I love their quarterback. I think he's going to have a Zach phenomenal Wilson. year. I think Zach love Wilson's going to have a phenomenal year. I, now, let me explain something to you. And you know, you could say, Stu, it's, you're wrong. You don't know anything about football. You don't know anything about anything. I think if Aaron Rodgers played that game, the Jets would have get blown out in the game. Wow. Of course, the offensive line is a sieve. And Zach Wilson runs like a king runs like a champion Big. so he's oh. going to be running for his life King. in dallas Big. and um instead of the stationary target where you can tell me a three-step drop at right smart well, he can read three snap can blah blah no he can't run no more he can't well, well he's not, he yeah. can't run right now at all but um so i love zach wilson in his spot i love to turn over dak prescott three times three picks he's gonna get crushed they're gonna shut down their running game you cannot throw the ball um, I think the Jets' defense will lead the league in turnovers, and I would not be surprised if they win this game outright. Okay, I'm going to take everything Stu said, and I do kind of love this under. I don't. I think both defenses are phenomenal, and I think both quarterbacks are suspect. Under 39 and a half is my play, Tommy. Uh, Dak Prescott covers big spreads. He is 15 and eight against the spread as a favorite of a touchdown or more in wow. his career. Wow. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. What about the, the weather in Dallas? It is a dome. But what would no, it be no. like? Isn't it, isn't no, no, it's they, a dome. They, I'm thinking old Cowboys. Stadium. Yeah, you're thinking about because they, they open Sometimes the roof so God can watch the Cowboys. Does that play. just forgets? Yeah, that's like 20 years ago. Fair. Yeah. So got we've it. got an 88 degrees, cloudy day, Ooh. all in all. Doesn't matter. Dome. 88 degrees. Where dome. Have I, where have I heard 88 Shout degrees out before? Dome. Yeah. 88 degrees. Shout out dome. 88 degrees. See, the thing is. Even if Ashley's okay with Stu, it's tough to say you're not okay if he gets sexual on her because they're all guys and we all laugh. What's she going to be? like? Well, no, no we got Gina where, here. Where did I get out I'm of just saying, at all? No, I'm just saying for the where? future, when I'm not here, Hank, I'm, keep that in mind. It's a peer pressure environment. Can, can, yeah. you, can you just really remember something, okay? What? You're a Jew, you're a Jew, I'm a Jew. We've been persecuted our whole lives. At least nail me to the, to the stake, to the coffin, to the cross when I really do something bad. I don't want this hypothetical, I, that, that was could a, stew, no, no, no. maybe stew, Gina, did, I did nothing. Not yet. Ashley, if you feel peer pressured, you yeah. can always talk to Gina. <laughs> we'll okay? bind over it. Yeah. Or, yeah, you guys looking out. the girls in the girls' room. Or Hank, <laughs> give her like a little buzzer that nobody she knows she's pressing that only you get and then you can be like, Stu, like calm a, down it, we don't know what's coming from her but it's like a panic button you're, no it's, it's like hank has the death it, stare it, it, i actually like a, think that's like a, a, a bank teller, a yeah, bank teller yes. like i'm getting robbed right now yes <laughs> please a, please come. yes i actually think that's probably a good idea i like okay. it <laughs> gina can i ask you something yep anal or no anal <laughs> anal okay uh, doggy or missionary doggy um 
do you do you <laughs> like your ass eaten or do you like eating ass? I eat it. I eat ass. But you don't like your ass eaten. <laughs> yeah, both. Both. Okay. So, and also, do you like the fifteen fifteen thirty method? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Gina. Shout, Shout out, Gina. Gina. Shout out, Gina. Shout out, Gina. Shout My out type Gina. of woman. Okay. Last pick. Call me. Last Call game. Me. Sunday night football. It's going to be great. Dave, your 0-1 Patriots hosting Miami Dolphins. The Patriots are plus two. over under is 46 and a half. Talk to us. Very, very, very encouraged by the Patriots last game. Started horribly. Mac throws that pick six. Terrible throw all on him. And then they start turning around. Defense is flying around. I thought they outplayed the Eagles, who are a very good team. Stu's Super Bowl team. I think a lot of people's Super Bowl team. I think they outplayed them for three of the four quarters. They did. Bote, that's how you pronounce his name. Booty. Learn how to get your fucking feet in bounds twice. Ugh. Um but, yeah, I'm encouraged. You can tell the difference between Patricia and Billy O'Brien. I think I'm going to create Billy O'Ball T-shirts. So I love the way the Patriots are playing um, or played or looked. Dolphins are very good. Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I don't think two is going to make through this season, but their offense is the real deal. They're going to put up points. But I think the Patriots bounce back. They win. Then they're going to the Jets without Rodgers. They beat them. Get back to me. Into week four, we're going to be first place AFC East. Whoa. I like where we're at. I bet the Patriots to win the Super Bowl and their win total. I don't know what it was. When I bet it, six and a half. That was a slap in the face. I'm very, very encouraged. I'm not just saying that. I'm very happy with where we're at. This is a big game. I think we win it. Thoughts on the new lighthouse. Hank's a big fan. Hate it. Oh, I don't like gimmicks. You liked what they did with the Brady. He loves man. the, the lighthouse. Keeper of the light. Loves the lane. lighthouse. Twelfth man. I don't like manufactured shit. I like running it between the tackles. I like you know man football, Big Ten foot. No, keeper of the lighthouse. Hate it. What if they invited you to do it? I'd have to do it. <laughs> He'd have to do it. He'd I'd have, have to, to do, do it. it. But that's not the point. You don't and, have to and, like and, it. And You're I, just gonna do I'd it. say I liked it. Exactly. And I'd do it with a smile on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then off. It's, it's and like then doing the Trump interview. You got to do it. I, I, got to do I, it. I'd have to do it. Have to do it. I'd love to be in Shout out Donald Trump. But I really shout out. would prefer they didn't do it. But I, you have to do I it. I probably will end up doing it. Yes. Nice. You'll have to do it. You'll have to do it. No, no. No? I can't tag along on any of these really amazing things you do. Like, never? No, there's time and place. Like, if I go back to the porn convention, you can come. Oh, thank yes. you. Yes. I'm so happy. Yes. So happy. Ashley, I need the weather because I want, I love a pick I'm going to do, but I'm very nervous about it. I'll give it to you. So it'll be 65 degrees, and I'm going to say there's going to be some squinty eyeballs because it is sunny. Night game, though. Night game. I just, I thought I'd focus on the domes at first. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's okay. Slow. Day or night. Uh, I have something that I think is probably going to help the pick you that you're listening. leaning I heard it. Over. Over. Yeah, over. I over. I've got, over. I've got some over go. stats for you. Give me the over. You. Mac Jones, the over you. is oh, 10 and Stu, 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 Stu. Tommy's doing it. He gets like two minutes. No, it's all right. And Wood, shout out Wood. Seriously, shout out Wood. Uh, sure. Mac Jones, 10 and 4, the over in his last 14 home games. Dolphins over, hit eight of nine times on the road last season, average of 57 points per game. I'm doing this over, and I'm making it my Aria Finer over. Mm. R.I.P. Shout out. Shout out. I'm I like out. that pick. Did you see Stu? He, po he posted that. He posted a, a, a video today. He said, last walk with my doggy. And everyone was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, Sue. Like, he was just talking about but going. He, he was saying last walk because he's going to Chicago for 24 hours. Listen, he plays loose and fast with death. Yes. Stu, Agreed. you had the Agreed. whole internet thinking your dog Agreed. passed he away. Plays, oh, wait a second. He but likes I, getting last, Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a sympathy grifter. No, 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 no. Last walk with I, my dog. I create Heart emoji. emotion. It's How a, I do it is my game. Well, I mean, I, I don't know that. I'm not afraid of that, death. That, that is not a unique talent to be like, my dog died. I didn't say that, You Dave. said last two walk with my dog. You see the way he said dog. that? He's like, two, David, that, that's how I create emotion. <laughs> no. <laughs> two posts before that, Dave, I said, my dog Ari is going to miss me as me and Sandy go to Chicago. Two posts. The next post was a picture of my dog. And then I walked with, listen, I walked my dog around the pool. The wow. dog is hopping wow. around like it has the world by the balls. You, you he are dogs. a sympathy grip. walk with I my use, dog. I use emotion. And death. Sympathy is a death, love, sex, drugs, rock and roll. Where do you want me to stop? 
ding, 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 ding. I do whatever it takes to get the eyeball Moat. to bring them to your company Moat. so they buy your products so you get in the black. That's my long-term goal. Love it. So what's your pitch? Now, Stu. No, I know that. I know that. One time was always so much. Tommy, I didn't step on you. Dave petted me like I was his dog and gave me a major compliment and a smile while you were talking. I love getting compliments. And he never does that. So I was... Like really fluxed. I lost. Ask you put a ball Stu. in a tee, and you 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 didn't step into the box. It. You told Stu. me what to do. Stu. I don't want Hank yelling at me. I don't. I, I hate. I tell you right now, when Hank is cry? The evil, no. When the Hank gives me the evil eyes, my penis walk. and my balls go <laughs> up into my stomach. Stu, shattered Stu. Hank. I love you. Stu. Yes. I appreciate that you're trying to get us in the black. You're Thank barstool you. over everyone. What's your pick on this game? Um, fabulous game here. <laughs> Miami Dolphins, if they're healthy, win the Super Bowl. The Patriots and Mac Jones are going to be phenomenal. Exceed expectations. I get them for between 9 and 10 wins. He's a professional quarterback. Bill O'Brien's got him rolling. Their defense, nothing wrong with. Should have covered against Philly. Should have beat Philly. In this game, payroll stoop. I gave it to Cowboys over the Giants. That was a blowout. I had the sign. Total parlay. Sunday night winner. StuFinder.com. Paywall Stu. StuFinder.com. StuFinder.com. Okay. Thank you, Stu. Is Barstool over everything? I don't know how that helps us get in the black. Well, no, it's, but it's part of the reason I do the show. Right, I, I, have, said, I have but, to earn. But you, no, 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 there's but two things I earn. Say, I earn Barstool all this, that, this over is everything. my segment. Right. Listen, give me a million five, give me 30,000 a week, and I'll give all my games free. That was the exact number he asked for. <laughs> what do you mean? It's been consistent. That I, was with you. Literally I can't, what he I can't came in lose with. money, David. I spent, uh, listen, I, I lost like 60 million being an idiot my whole life, so now I have to work. I have to earn. He has to earn. I have to earn. But any, anything else you ask me to do is free. Okay. I told you that. All right, so, Rowdy, all right let me ask this. Whatever it is. Uh, can I get a Monday night pick? Uh, that's paywall. Oh, also. shit. All right. I got to oh. earn here. I'm giving you a mortal log. It's my best bet. I'm giving it for free in uh, front of a million people every single week. Great segue. Mortal Locks coming up right after this. Mark Shout out, Mortal Locks. I'm here for my Mortal Locks. And no paywall. No paywall. Shout out, Gina. I want to do doggy with you. Today I'm not here to have fun. Today I'm here to win. Let's shock the world! Oh, yeah! 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 That's a great fucking shot! The money man! Start eating now. Come on. Come on! Get going. Nice hot. That's what we do! Let's fucking go. Come on! <laughs> Let's we go. Do. That's what we do, baby. Full disclosure, I have no idea where the shot's gonna go. What a Thank you. Pleasure. Get out of the sand, Dave. Kirk, you started this. I started? Is that where we're at now? This is the X Factor we needed. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. It's warfare, dude. Money for money. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come back for me. What you talking about? That's my partner. Two biggest fucking losers of the company. They started talking shit. I'm just better at it. Big shots. Danny boy. Big players, big moments. Oh! He's mentally weak. He's falling apart. That oh! boy right down the middle. Oh! oh the team! Let's fucking go! It's a team fucking win. No one believes in us. Fucking choke job! It's just unfair. They're making me into the villain. If he misses this, it's a disaster. Oh! The fuck, dude? What team are you on? We got the whole team of shambles, baby. Dave! Dave! <sighs> he went. <sighs> That's for camera. I won't do that to him. Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Don't take your shitty golf play out on me, player. Yeah! Yes! What? That's what I'm talking about. Love this game we call golf. It's September! Listen, listen, listen. I'm sure you have that special someone's birthday in September. How about an anniversary in September? How about someone's getting married in September? How about a bachelor party in September? Graduation in September? Special someone, a pick-me-up. They just lost their boyfriend. They just lost their girlfriend. They just lost their mother. They just lost their father. It's a, a funeral. Listen, everyone needs a pick-me-up. 
and I invented this 20 years ago. Still for the shout outs, I'll shout you out. I'll read a script, I'll make up a script. I'll do it better than anybody ever. I will make someone's day. Get over to BeLikeStu.com, BeLikeStu.com, BeLikeStu.com. Oh, I didn't see you there. Look at me, it's fall, it's football, it's the best time of year, and we have a huge announcement for StellaBlueCoffee.com. Hit me memes, that's right, pumpkin spice, Stella Blue Coffee. Hit me again with the other one. In the cups too. Pumpkin Spice, it is PSL season. Everyone loves pumpkin spice. The first flavor we're releasing for StellaBlueCoffee.com. Go buy it right now. There's no better time than fall. You wake up, it's like a nice 50 degrees. You smell that air, you have the full slate of football, and then you have a PSL in your cup with pumpkin spice Stella Blue. But wait, there's more. Oh, hey PFT. Oh, hey Big Cat, how's it going? I didn't there see it here. More. Yeah, oh. check this out. Brand new from Stella Blue Coffee, Apple Crisp. Mm. This will make your whole house smell fantastic. The best flavor of coffee. Just a hint of apple, apple spice. Great way to wake up. Memes, hit me with the K-Cups. Hit him again. Great toss, memes. That's right, and look, oh, who's that? It's Leroy That's on the Leroy. cover. Leroy. Oh, Leroy, he's a very good boy. Pumpkin spice, apple crisp. What's better than this? Apple time, apple time. Mm. Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back. It is time for our Mortal Locks, and they are presented by Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Have better sex with Blue Chew. Blue Chew is currently the only place to go for chewable versions of Sildenafil and Tadelafil. And I nailed both those words. These ingredients help men achieve stronger, harder, and longer lasting erections for sexual activity. Blue Chew helps combat all forms of ED, shout out Tommy, which also includes performance anxiety and also maintaining an erection long enough for sex. The chewable tablets have the same active ingredients you find in Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew is all about having confidence when it comes time to perform and having happy and healthy relationships. A Blue Chew subscription includes a free online consultation, 24-7 medical support, a prescription if approved, and discreet delivery straight to your door every month. Chew it and do it. Use code ADVISORS for your first month free. And I gave this same speech last week. I'll give it again. Mm. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank they you. believe in this show. We hope that people will go out and buy Blue Chew. Use advisors for your first month free. Blue Chew, get better sex with Blue Chew. Use code advisors. Mortal Lock time. Stu, I'll start with you. Mortal Lock. Okay, first of all, let me explain something to you. <coughs> Let's just talk sponsors first, okay? Okay. Because um, there's no paywall here. I've used Cialis. I've used Viagra. 62 years old, extreme diabetes. <laughs> Most humans would never get hard, okay? And before I used Blue Chew, it was like three quarters hard, where I would like rub it against my wife's vagina and ass, and then I would just shoot the load. Jesus Christ. I had this Blue Chew, by the way, they said anything goes. I, I'm sure okay. they did. And they love how I performed. I'm sure. I love this Blue Chew Who's because they? it gets Blue me Blue totally Chew hard Why? to go What's against the outer it's, wall it's for them. of the vagina. <laughs> so what I would suggest is this. Try the product. Listen. Hit the button, listen. Ashley. Try Hit the, the button. product. Hit the button. Try <laughs> the product because it's a fabulous product. Okay. Uh, <laughs> last year, I was 15 wins, four losses, two ties on this mortal lock. 78.9% people said it's a fluke. It was a fluke, Stu. It was a fluke. No, it wasn't a fluke because I gave it to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Plus six outright sharpest game of the year last week. Now, this week, there's one game, one line that is so fucking wrong, that is so wild, that I know already the sharps are coming in heavy, heavy, heavy on because it makes no sense. And that is the Indianapolis Colts minus one against the Houston Texans. Now, someone tell me how all the Colts are favored in Houston. Houston just pissed on Cincinnati. Indy just lost to nope. Jacksonville. Nope. What happened? Nope. nope. Houston I don't think... got pissed uh, on by Baltimore. Houston all... just lost to Baltimore. Cincinnati. Sorry. Sorry. Cincinnati. Sorry. Cleveland. Sorry. Houston uh, 
Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I think I'm we sorry. finally broke him. Are you? Are you? No, 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 Welcome no, no, back no, in. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Welcome back in. Sorry, I'm sorry. I mixed up Houston and the other. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Indian. That's a layup. Senator, Senator, Senator. The question was your mortal lock. Right. Okay. So, Indianapolis. There is no way. 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 There is None. Why? Zero. They should not be. Why? Because Houston won last week? No, no, no. No, no, no. Houston's, Houston has a great defense. <laughs> Houston is showing a ton of potential. And the Indianapolis Colts haven't <laughs> laid a number and won in, I'm going to say, Thomas, five years. Five years. Oh, wow. So, lay the number with the Colts! No, no. Lay it's this one. number. Lay the number. Play the money line. Colts! Oh, my more! Rock! <laughs> okay, I don't know if I followed that reasoning, but I well, the record speaks for itself. Yeah, right, exactly. It's kind of all over the map. <laughs> was, all over the map. He made an argument for both teams there. I did. That's how I do it. Yeah. I do it. That's, that's <laughs> Houston pissed it. all over the Bengals last week. <laughs> I, met, I, I, got, I got confused. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, Paul. I got confused. Dave, mortal lock. We already talked about this game. I am never. I don't. There's nothing that jumped out at me on the board, but I am convinced the Chiefs are going to start slowly. Mm. Um, I like Trevor Lawrence. I like the Jags. I think this is a Super Bowl game. Again, as somebody who has six rings, I know what it's like when you're the target, when you're the team that everybody views as the best, which the Chiefs are. The up and comer circles it. So I'm sure Jacksonville had this circled all off season. They play this game. They win this game. I like them at home catching the points. Jags. Okay. Can I just say one thing? Yeah, you said a lot. I was so good in bed last night. Shout out, Sandy. I'm telling him. Because of this, that when I started talking about the product, I went back to last night and I lost where I was. Colts. I don't buy it. Wait, I, you're I taking no the Colts now? No, you had the Colts. Right. Texans were. Sorry to confuse you. Yeah, yeah. Why? This is you're why. Taking the Colts. Yes. Yes, this That's is why life. he's not invited to stay over at my house. Why? What do you mean? You told me I could doggy, doggy in my yes. house. Yeah. You said yeah, Hank yeah. and Doggy. I almost thought you said Hank and Doggy Sandy, which I thought was very inappropriate, but you didn't say that. But you did say Hank and Doggy in your house. I could doggy in your house. He said this last can week. Hank I'm just I'm just reverberating what your number two can guy Hank, is saying. Can Hank Doggy Buddy. can Hank Doggy Sandy? No, no one could doggy Sandy. Okay. Next show. <laughs> Nobody. No one? No one. You? Shout out me. Okay, shout out you. All right, I'm doing 45 a pick. years invested in her, big cat. I'm doing a pick. She's the greatest I, woman ever. I'm doing a pick that I absolutely hate. Shout out Sandy! Pick show. I'm doing a pick that I absolutely hate. I hate, hate, hate That's taking unders. Man, I hate assume. taking unders. Well, no, it's not even a reversal. I actually do think there's going to be a stinker of a game. The Commanders and the Broncos, under 38 and a half. Mm. The Commanders defense is legit. The Broncos defense is legit. Russell Wilson, he is cooked. Sam Howell, I do not believe in him. I think this game has 13-7 written all over. Ooh, I might I like go exact pick. score 13-7. 13-7, under 38 and a half. I hate giving unders for mortal locks, but sometimes you have to say, this makes no sense. If they set this under at 29 and a half, I'd take it. It's a good pick. I, like I would that take pick. it. I, I like would take pick. it. Good pick. That is Barstool Sports Advisors. Great show, everyone. Great show. Shout out Gina. Shout out Gina. King of all media. Oh, and Jerry will be back. I, we shouldn't be at Shout out Slut Gina. No, no, no we we're same Avisors. team. Same yeah, team, boys. You, same team. Same team. We're trying to get views. Same yeah, team. that's all we're trying to do. Next week. Same team. So you're, you're going to rotate every week? Uh, it's TBD. We'll Jerry, see how guys still need to get to Florida. Oh, Jerry, okay. go out for a pass right that way. Go, go, run, run, run. How's that knee? He's fucking, oh. he's, he's, his hands are amazing. He fell down his stairs last night. He said that his hands are amazing. He never misses the ball. You're a fabulous athlete. You're a high school outfielder, right? Yeah. How do you know? Well, you just told me. Just touch your breasts. That's habit. <laughs> All right, folks. The sports buzz. We'll see you next week. Shout out, everyone. We love you. Oh yeah. You thought you no, had. No, I wasn't. The minute I saw his eyes, I was like, this, "That's Jerry." This was Hank. You thought you had I it. I knew I didn't have it. I knew I didn't have it. He said he's never going to know. <laughs> that is maybe the most insulting thing that's ever been said about me at this company. You didn't think I would know. The minute I he knew walked out, know. Dave looked over and was just like, all right. Waste. <laughs> yeah, the nails. The nails Waste. is tough. Everything is tough. <laughs> Everything.